Welcome back to Wednesday Warrior, Warriors via the World Wide Web. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue on the, the first commandments. And just like a commandment, like when the Wednesday Warriors, when you guys come in, we usually say our pledge, which we don't have it up right now. But um, we always start off with uh, company, attend, huh? and you guys get an attention. And that's a command. And when they go ahead and command you to go ahead and go right face and you turn to the right face, that's another command. Well, the Lord has commands for us. And the first one from the Ten Commandments, if you remember last week, last was, week. You shall have no other God before me. That means that Jesus doesn't want you to put, or God doesn't want you to put anything at all, not one single thing ahead of Him. Because why? Because He just wants us to trust in Him. And to only love Him. That's right. Right. No, no. God of the sea, or God, or the sun God, or the moon God, right? Or the harvest God, right? And you know how? Um, well, we're going to get into that later when Mr. Ernie right. goes uh, a little bit. <clears throat> so today we're going to go ahead and and, um, and uh, study the second commandment. Uh -huh. That's uh, out of the Ten Commandments. And where can we find the Ten Commandments? And we'll we could we could go ahead and most definitely find the Ten Commandments in Exodus uh -huh. chapter twenty. But if you guys don't know what the second commandment is, here at Wednesday Warriors, what we do is we like to get three verses and we like to have a little sword fighting drill. And out of those three verses, if we could go ahead and figure out what that commandment is that we're going to go ahead and be learning or that study that we're going to be learning today. So with no further ado, I'd like to go ahead and we write. We have another special guest. Yes. And this this person, and you guys are pretty, pretty sure you know, but he's the first person of the Wednesday Warriors to actually reach the corporal status. Right. And as of right now, just to let you win the Warriors really know, the we got shirts, uh -huh. we're going to go ahead and be making them, and when you get a corporal, you get two stripes right here on this side. Right. Okay? And for any verses memorized or um, anything that you do out of your out of your regular... Outside, that's extra from what you do from the normal things. And it's for the Lord, you're going right. to get a little bars right so here. So make sure you guys are writing those down or chime into us. Don't forget, we have our website... You can always log in, post pictures. We're still waiting for somebody to answer that question to maybe get a secret surprise. Maybe. So if you haven't watched our videos yet, you can always go back and watch them and then chime in. And who knows, you may get something special coming your way. That's right. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and welcome Nate Christensen. Okay, so here we are with Corporal Nathan, with Corporal Big Nate. And he's ready to go ahead and come on with the Bible sword fighting. And he challenged a person, G Level, myself, that he could go ahead and beat us in some um, sword fighting. But before we get started, um, I remember last week, uh, Leah, we had sword fighting with Leah. She did have some memory verses, but we're going to have to get back with her to go ahead and show you guys the memory verses that she learned. But Big Nate Dog here has a memory verse. Has a memory verse he wants to share first before we even get started. So go ahead and, and you want to say hi to everybody members. first, Nate? Introduce yourself. Give a yourself. shout out to any of your, any of your people. Uh, you could do that. Yeah. Hi. Um, it's been a long, long time no see. Too long. Too, uh, too long. long. But hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll be seeing each other real soon. And but, what you been doing, Nate? Uh, honestly, you... just sitting in front of the TV. Oh, you sitting need... in front of the TV. But what? Are you doing homework on Zoom? Are you still doing your homework on Zoom? Uh, Nate? Yeah, I. I have to do a score. And, and I see you throwing the football yeah, around you... a couple of times outside, right? With your dad. Yeah, I always yeah, be training. I've just has been getting exercise, praying. That's right. good. God number one. You gotta be training, and it's especially gonna be training in the Holy Bible, okay? So So tell us that memory verse that you had memorized. Yes. You said it was in Matthew 5, what? It was like, it was Matthew 26, but... 19. Oh, okay. And what did that say? It was, was God all things are possible? Ooh, I like that that's one. Right. All, things God are are, all things are possible. And you know what, Nate? That's a great verse to remember right now during the times that we're in because we could be getting lonely, maybe even depressed, sad. We miss our friends. We miss going out, <laughs> going to church and fellowshipping. But we got you mentioned one important thing, and that was about prayer and how prayer is so effective. So everything in prayer, and when we pray, it's like Nate said, um, nothing's impossible with God. That's right. Are you so ready, Corporal Nate? 
Yes. We're gonna do a sword fight. We're you gonna, got your sword? We're gonna see how quick on the draw you've been, Nate. We gotta get those fingers built up again. All right? I just want to let everybody know that Nathan was the first one to make Corporal in the Wings of Warriors. And, um, and, and he's done it by memory, memorizing verses, participating. And what I also enjoyed was the little study that Nathan had given right. on Facebook. I thought that was so awesome. And you know why it's so awesome is because when we learn about Jesus, Jesus doesn't want us to keep it all to ourselves. He wants us to share his word and to tell others about how good he is. Right, Nate? He wants us to be an encourager of the word. And I don't know how many of you guys watch Facebook or, or get on, on the internet too much, but Nate gave a really good Bible study not too long ago. That's right. But not only that, not only Nate, yeah. we have other children at the church too that they most definitely give Bible studies. When I'm teaching up on the top, I like to invite Patrick up. Sometimes go ahead and, and, and do a little study. Nathan's can come up and does some study. Um, Samuel. Samuel. Uh -huh. Did you get it, Nate? He goes to three. Wait, oh, I thought I was supposed to stop. Alright, Deuteronomy 7, seven verse nine. 9. You sure right, got it. Therefore, know that the Lord your God, He is God, the faithful God who keeps and mercy for a thousands of generations who those who love him and keep his commandments That's right he is god when god says i am he's just talking about one person that he is god and the faithful god who keeps his promises mate and that promise was to go ahead and what what was god's promise that none should perish but have everlasting life that's why he said his only begotten son but the, the Lord has a lot of promises in this book. So if you read the book of the Bible, it says right here, he's the God who keeps his promises. Right, keeps his promises and he has mercy for thousands. Of thousands, Nathan. That's a lot of people. I'm in one of those thousands of the generations. And if you have Christ in your heart, guess what? You're one of those thousands. For those who love, love him. him and keep their commandments. Okay, that's a clue. Okay, here we go. That's a clue. That's a clue. Let's go up to Bible's up. number two, number two, second time. This is in the Old Testament, Nehemiah chapter one, verse five. Go. <laughs> And I said, I pray, Lord God of heaven, O great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments. There it is again, another key word. We said this word twice already. For those who love him and keep, keep his commandments. commandments. But notice on this one right here, it says he prays. And when he's praying, he's... He's, he's, he's reminding the Lord that he, you know what his promise is. And he's urging him. And now that he starts off by saying, you know what, God, you're awesome. You're, and he's just giving him praise to start it off with. Right. Okay? So do you know what the second commandment is yet? No other idols. Oh, man. They you got shall, it. They got it. You shall it. not worship. You shall not worship. Or make, or make Good job, any other Nathan. Idols. All right, Nate. So are you ready to redeem yourself and for the third um <laughs> Start fight. You ready to do it to it? Okay, here we go. We're going to go to Daniel chapter 9, verse 5. Go. So I'm going to go ahead and it says, We have sinned. What? We have sinned. We have sinned and committed iniquity. Yes. Acted wickedly Sometimes. aside from your commandments and ordinances. That's so right. that means that, you know... When we don't follow the commandments... Well, we've turned, you know. We yes. don't always follow them, right? And, but that's wicked. Right, because the Lord, the Lord, our God, is a God of order. Mm -hmm. And so, he, you know, He likes things done a different way. And He sets rules and boundaries to keep us safe. And so when those rules and boundaries are broken, we can be left open to, to be attacked or to come against, right? That's right. There's a special video that you need to watch. Yeah, it's called Cruising with Mr. Ernest. And wherever I cruise and where I end up, 
we're gonna go ahead and be able to see if you are able to go ahead and see where I'm at. Okay, so come on guys, you guys ready? Let's go. Pow, pow, power. Pow, pow, power. You'll receive the power from the Holy Spirit shower. Pow, pow, power up on you. Power to be bold. Power to be brave. Power to preach the gospel all in Jesus' name. Pow, pow, power up on you. Power to be strong. Power to be kind. Power to break the chains when we're in a bind. Pow, pow, power up on you. Pow, pow, power. Pow, pow, power. You'll receive the power from the Holy Spirit shower. You got 30 seconds to go out and go look for um, what I hid in, in your somewhere out there. secret stash. Yeah, secret stash. Go ahead, Nate. You got go. 30 seconds. Go. Oh. What is it? Let's see. Uh, oh, it's a mouse guard. A mouth guard! Alright! And what else? Oh, then I got some gum scouts. Alright! <laughs> Alright, Nathan, well, we want to thank you for continuing to be the Wednesday Warrior. Make sure you practice up, your Bible drills. Moving up in ranks as a corporal. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep your, your faith and your trust in the Lord, Nate. Hope to see you soon. So go ahead and continue. We're going to go ahead and watch this uh, the study of commandment number two. So now we'd like to go ahead and open up a prayer. Do you know where I want to start it off? Sure. Um, Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord Jesus, and we just thank you for um, your word, Lord, which is in the Bible. And Father God, we thank you for the instructions that you leave us, Lord. And so, Lord, as we study these Ten Commandments, Lord, I pray that you would rule and reign in our hearts and that you would speak to us and lead us and guide us in the direction that you want us to go in for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That sure was fun, Bible, uh, Bible sorting against uh, Nate, huh? And it's really cool how we could do it these different ways. So you guys be um, be attentive because you may be next. And I remember Leah last week, she got us twice out of the three verses, huh? Um, I don't remember. Or yeah, maybe, she did. I think she, she got did. us twice out of three. She did. So Nate, you did but a good job all day today. Okay. So before we go ahead and get into our, and try to figure out where we're going to be learning today, into our study, we're going to go ahead and take our episode number three at our VBS Highlight. Hey kids, my name is Christine Salsapadas and I'm the group leader for the third and fourth graders. My favorite VBS activity is dancing. What? Guys, no, no, not that dancing. This dancing. see each other during this time but just know I'm praying for you and I hope to see you guys soon and I miss you and I'm praying that you're well and you're safe. Bye. Okay so <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the second commandment and the second commandment is only to worship God only. No other people. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and read out of this uh, out of the Holy Bible of the second commandment and you can find that in Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 to 6 okay and it says this you shall not make for yourself an idol or any likeness of what is in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the water under the earth okay so not only above or what's on earth or under the water and you must see a lot of statues of like say Poseidon 
or at this current in the world. You know, right. And, and or, or also, you know, what I got out of it is um, I, I love stuff for gardens and I like um, certain um, kind of art and sometimes there's suns with some big suns and some have moons or also people like to um, you see people with water turtles or elephants right, right? Elephant that, elephants. those are kind of really big and popular Cows, too. too but what I did get out of that is that um, some people like to collect those things like as hobbies you know um, even Disney characters little figurines yeah. they have like a you know Disney character um, little um, what do you call that shelf yeah. with a bunch of little collectibles and stuff? And that's fine. But right, and that's right, that's fine to have those things. But we sh it shouldn't take the place of the living God. That's right. And if that is always on your mind and right. not Jesus, right? Then, then that that is that is an idol. Right, because it can consume you, and then your eyes get off of Jesus. Like it's okay to collect those things, but if you're always like looking like, oh, I gotta get that one, or oh, I need it. You know, sometimes that can come in the place of Jesus, and and that can be even a, a, a man-made idol. And that's what he doesn't. <laughs> yes. And what I like is, um, you shall not worship them or serve them, because the Lord, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. So, so God tells you why He wants you to worship Him only because. He's a jealous God. That means he wants like all, and it's not in a bad way. And if you you've know, ever been he, jealous, that's an ugly feeling. Right, right. But but sometimes people that are jealous is because they put all of their 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 effort into one thing, and so the Lord wants you to turn that effort to Him. Right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now chapter six, uh, verse six. I'm sorry, verse five. Say well, continue on the verse. It says visiting the iniquity of the fathers <laughs> on the children. On the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. So there's kind of even like a little. Um, there's there's going to be people that that, that that you know. Yeah, but there's it's almost like a little warning. Like, yeah, like most definitely. sometimes we do things and we think that it only affects us, but it doesn't. It, it can affect generation to generation. Yeah. It can affect your kids and your kids' kids. <laughs> but and most commandments are like warning. Like, let me tell you something. Like, you get a, if you are in war and you're, let's say, you're in the Marines and you're in, in the, one of the, you know, in the front troop, you know, and, and going to battle, and you get a commandment, and if you don't follow that commandment, that will affect not only maybe not only you, but it might affect the person next to you, right. or maybe the other two coming in behind you guys. And somebody could even die. Oh yes, yeah, most definitely. So it's always important to keep commandments. And that's why sin causes death. But you know what, you guys, the Lord is a forgiver of sin. So if you happen to, you know, sin, then you just confess and you get back right with the Lord. And just as quick as you confess it, that's as quick as you get back with the Lord. That's right. And, and it says, though, the ones that do keep his commandments, he rewards. So there's rewards in being obedient and, and keeping the Lord's word hidden in your heart. That's right. That's right. Now, do you guys know that the first four commandments of the Bible, it governs our relationship to God? And the last six commandments in the Bible is about a relationship to other people. So notice that when you guys are reading and studying the commandments, okay? The first four is, the, is, 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 is the how he wants to govern you to the to God. The last six is how with other people. Okay. And just a little tip, Gilo, maybe about three or four thousand years ago when God actually hadn't written those commandments on, the, on those tablets, um, 13,000, I mean, 1300 years after God gave those commandments, Jesus upheld them. And where is that found? Well, he actually placed his laws on a higher plane, demanding the spirit as well as the legal aspects of the law is to be observed. So not only you got to observe the laws, but he actually actually brought the spirit into it too. And Jesus stamped that approval in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verse 17. 17. You want to go ahead and read that? Sure, and that says... Okay, let me use the Bible. I wrote in my notes, but we should always double check, even if we wrote notes, to make sure that they coincide with what the Word of God says, okay? So Matthew 5, chapter 17, it reads, from that time, oh no, excuse me, wrong one. 5, 17 says, 
Do not think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. So, when they talk, to ask him about the commandments, he said he, he, didn't come to, he came to fulfill them. And that's basically what it yeah, means. He didn't come to destroy them. He came to carry them out. So that meant whatever was written, he actually lived it. He did it. To show proof of himself. And of the Lord. Yes, he did. Right? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close, out prayer. close out our prayer. But before I close out our prayer, I want you guys to go ahead and pray for my cut that got my finger in. Kind of hard to see because my wife's been taking care of it. It's a nice don't little, it, a nice little slice right there. And then, if you're wondering what was on my lip, I got burned. I was braising a piece of copper pipe and chain reaction. Somebody bumped this, bumped that, bumped that, bumped that, bumped that, and then pop right into my lip when I was blowing on it. And if you ever get burned, you know how it feels. But try to get burned on a lip. So then I've been you know, giving him lots of popsicles. Yeah, so. To as make it that, that, that lip get better. Yeah, maybe we should bring it more often, maybe. No. Get some more popsicles. No, please. Okay, so you guys want to bow your heads? And if you have any prayer, prayer requests, we're going to end in prayer. But don't forget, if you have any prayer requests, you can even write it on the website or text us. Those of you who have our numbers, you can text us or you can put a personal message on there and we can get back to you. But we would love to pray for you guys. And, and our phone numbers are, are found on the website too. And, and so keep hanging in there, guys. I know it seems really, really long that we're doing all these precautions, but God is with you. We love you. We're praying for you. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Stay in your word and be prayed up. Okay, here we go. Bar heads. Close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for another day of life and just thank you for um, for our Wednesday Warriors. Uh, these are the children that just want to go ahead and step up to you, Lord Jesus, and are recruited by um, by Jesus to go ahead and serve him. So just go ahead and let them just dive into the Word, memorize them verses, Lord, and, and uh, just get to know you and have that personal relationship with you. But the most of all, Lord Jesus, uh, the commandments. Uh, may we just abide by your commandments and and um, try our, our, our hardest to go ahead and follow your commandments because it does say, Lord Jesus, that, that you love those who follow your commandments. And even the commandments from our mothers and our dads and our grandpas and grandmas, you know, they may not be commandments, but they may be telling us to do something. And we got to go ahead and most definitely follow directions. So I pray this in Jesus' name. We have a safe night. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. Howdy, Nathan. I heard you're a ball player yourself and a Bible star. So therefore, I want to go ahead and give you one of these. Just keep up the good work.